All right, so I wanted to shoot a quick video on decentralized exchanges because I think it's the most important part of DeFi right now. And they're a really good investment if you find the right exchanges with the right tokenomics. So I'm just gonna go over a few DeFi applications, specifically decentralized exchanges. So where you would be buying and selling tokens and uh, their features and then later on i'll have other videos on each individual DeFi application so coinbase has a really good um coinbase has a really good learning center where they talk about different uh topics so this one here is called what is DeFi? so in short DeFi is short for decentralized finance it's an umbrella for the term of peer-to-peer -peer financial services on the blockchain, primarily Ethereum. Now, DeFi has been adopted on other blockchains like the Binance Smart Chain and soon to be other chains like Polkadot and Matic, but they started on Ethereum. So it's an umbrella term for financial services on the blockchain, primarily Ethereum. With DeFi, you can, most, you can do most of the things that banks support. For example, earning interest, but way more interest in DeFi. You can borrow money or borrow funds. Uh, you can lend your funds and earn interest. You can buy insurance. It's very limited right now. You can trade derivatives, trade assets, and more. It doesn't require paperwork or a third party because you're interacting with your uh, wallet. So DeFi is global and it's peer to peer and it's pseudonymous, so, which means you have a public identity that you put out there um, and it, they don't necessarily know your actual identity. So why is DeFi important? Um, you know, it's Bitcoin is digital money and you can't just have Bitcoin transferring in our, in our world, right? We're more advanced than that. So we have the other things. So the advantage to DeFi is it's a protocol and it doesn't need as many people to run. Therefore they share the benefits of the protocol with the people, for example, with profit sharing. So, you know, the benefits of it are it's open, it's pseudonymous, you don't have to provide your name or email address, you can just log into an exchange, it's flexible, and it's fast and the interest rates reward you very rapidly. So you can actually start earning interest within 15 seconds that you can see in your account. And it's transparent because you can see all of the transactions on the blockchain. So, you know, DeFi applications typically use software called dApps. Um, these dApps have these features today. So lending, getting a loan, trading, saving, and buying derivatives. What are the downsides? Well, the downsides is the transaction fees are high right now because of the blockchain. Um, the Ethereum blockchain is very expensive, but there will be cheaper blockchains in the future. And depending on what dApp you use, um, you can experience high volatility because it's all new tech and you have to maintain your own record. So that is a big downside is um, when you are doing DeFi, you have to be responsible for calculating the gains and losses, and it can be tricky if you're doing a lot of trading. So I just wanted to go over some news that happened today. So Coinbase, which is a centralized uh, application, they will track your taxes and tell the IRS for you and tell CRA for you. Um, but there's a downside. Look at the fees that they're generating. So in one quarter, they, they made $1.8 in fees. Now, if you compare that to like a bank, like a bank, like Royal Bank is making, you know, it's similar in fees. So you're not actually saving anything with Coinbase. So Coinbase updated their investors ahead of their uh, direct listing. So they did 1.8 billion surged by the price in Bitcoin. The net income um, is between 730 million and 800 million up from 32 million last year. So you see Coinbase revenue it's just shooting through the roof and that's because they have more users so that money should be going to the people that's the way DeFi works is that revenue should be going to the people It's going to the shareholders though so these are some apps that give you the revenue so i'm going to start with my favorite app uniswap right so uniswap is a protocol that brings buyers and sellers together where you don't have to trust the buyers and sellers and you can do instant swaps on tokens if they're available you can also provide liquidity or 
um, earn yield on your coins by earning interest. Uniswap, if you have the Uniswap coin, you can actually vote. So you can actually vote on uh, different things that Uniswap might have. So for example, they have a bunch of proposals here right now. So the Uniswap grants program was executed where Uniswap was funding, I believe. Yeah, funding development grants. So uh, they have a quarterly budget of 750K where there's a committee member, a committee group, and you can actually try and pitch them an app. So they have different people here um, where they're going to be the Uniswap, I guess, the guardians of the money. And yeah, they're going to pitch things. So you can vote on that when you have the Uniswap coin. Now, what do you do on Uniswap? So Uniswap is where you come. If you had a coin like Ethereum in your wallet, in your MetaMask wallet, for example, or in your trust wallet, there's different apps that can interact with Uniswap. So if you had a coin, what you can do is you can come here and you can swap it for another coin. They charge you a fee. So for example, maybe I want to buy the Uniswap coin. So I would type Uni. And there it is. So then if you had Ethereum and you're going to switch it from Ethereum to Uniswap, that's how you would do it. So what I usually do is to check the price of the coin. I'll start with a US dollar coin. Right. So USDC, for example. And then I'll put one Uni if I wanted to buy one. And I can see it's thirty dollars and seventy six cents. Now, the way Uniswap works because depending on how many people are supplying the coin or how much you want, that's how the price goes up. So if I wanted 10 coins, right? So instead of 30.7 with 10 coins, it's 30.8, right? If I wanted 100 coins, it's 30.9. And they show you the slippage of what? Now, if I wanted 100,000 coins, it's 32, right? $32 per coin. So um, they show you the slippage though. So they show you that you're going to have to pay 5% more. So what you do is, yeah. So what if I wanted uh, the uni? So I, if I had Ethereum as my main coin, right? And I wanted uh, to sell 0 .0 0 0.001 Ethereum, I could get a fraction of a Uniswap coin. So that's how Uniswap works. So what happens is when you hit swap, it's going to ask you to interact with your wallet. The fee around right now is probably $40. So you're actually going to want to do a lot of volume on Uniswap. The fee to swap the coin is probably going to be $40. So now there's another option. Because there are, you know, a lot of these applications, for example, if you go to defipulse.com, and you can see how many exchanges there are on DeFi Pulse, which is the Ethereum tracker. So instead of using one exchange, you can actually pick and choose from the best exchanges. So DeFiPulse.com will aggregate. Why is it not working? Okay, so you're going to go to DeFiPulse.com. You're going to click DEXs, right? Uniswap is number one in volume. Curve Finance, SushiSwap, Balancer, and it goes all the way down. So there's 20 places, 20 decentralized applications where you can go and get yours. So Matcha is one of them. And what they do is they actually pull from all of them. So they pull from Balancer, Uniswap, ZeroX, SushiSwap. So what you can do is you can look up Uni. Right, and I'm gonna pay an ETH, so it's thirty dollars and seventy-four cents. So uni ETH. So if I wanted one ETH worth, I would get sixty-eight uni swap, and you can see that there. The best, and then it tells you where the best exchange. So they searched 18 exchanges. 
the best price is obviously on Uniswap because that's their coin. Now, if I went to a different coin like Curve, what it's going to do is it's going to look on all of the exchanges. So now if I do one ETH for 666 Curve, it's going to look on all the exchanges and find out where the best deal is. So I don't think it will let you because there we go. Maybe I have to do the max in my wallet. So it's not actually showing where, okay, there we go. There's the quote. So there you go. So it actually gives you 30 seconds to pick. So I'm paying $122. I'm going to receive 38 coins. That's the rate that I'm going to be paying. I have 17 seconds left to place the order so this is a really good place to go is matcha to get quotes on swapping coins the second thing you can do on matches you can do limit orders but some pairs don't have limit orders so with bancor network this is another exchange bancor network is the same so they're going to swap different coins on their platform. Bancor Network actually allows you to do staking so you can buy the Bancor token and then you can stake it on the platform and then that platform will generate fees. So a portion of the fees that everyone's um, getting charged for trading, you'll be able to get fees. Okay, Bancor is not working. We'll move on. Sushi Swap. So Sushi Swap is another one where you can just select the tokens. So you're going to have to pick a list. So I'm going to say the coin market cap DeFi list. And I'm going to look at. Yeah, the Bancor token. Right. So if I wanted one ETH of Bancor token, they're going to give me. Insufficient liquidity. So insufficient liquidity means they just don't have the coin. So let's go to Cream Finance. So the reason why SushiSwap doesn't have the Bancor token, as you can guess, they're competition, so they're not going to sell people their token. That would be my guess, right? So one ETH worth of uh, one ETH to Cream, you'd get twelve. I don't have the right balance, but it shows the the uh, liquidity provider fee. So this is the fee that goes to all the token holders of SushiSwap. So that's one way you can swap coins. The next one is one inch exchange. So one inch exchange is also a DEX aggregator. So what they're going to do is they're going to look at all of the tokens on all of the exchanges. So one ETH. And we're going to go back to sushi. Let's see if they have sushi. They do. Or what? No cream. So let's compare the rates. So on Sushi Swap, oh, it's the exact same rate. So 12.996, 12.0996. So it's the exact same. They say the estimated fee is $37. Here they don't show you the estimated fee on Matcha. Uh, they do show a fee, I believe, on Matcha. So let's try Sushi on here. go let's see one eighth to sushi sushi swap has the best rate so one eighth is 138 sushi 38 paint three three oh sorry supposed to be looking up cream finance
So 1 eighth is 12.0996. So they all have the exact same thing. Now this is the fee though. So this one actually shows you the fee so you actually know what you're paying in total. So you're gonna pay the 12.0996 plus a $37 fee. That's the max return. Then you can even ask for the lowest gas cost. That doesn't change anything. Now there is a token called the Chi Gas Token. And what you can do is you can save up to 42% cheaper gas. What they do is you buy this gas token and it will buy gas when it's cheap, like at night. And then when you use it on the exchange, you'll use the cheapest gas. I've never used it before, but that is a way to do it. And that's about it. So in DeFi, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have different competitors, right? So you're, every day there's gonna be a new exchange, there's gonna be a new idea, there's gonna be a new protocol developed and it's up to you to be able to look on the research. Um, you know, DeFi Pulse is a good place to look. So you can go to DeFi Pulse, you can see who's, you know, the biggest one today. I'll tell you right now, SushiSwap came out of nowhere. SushiSwap did not exist last year. And what they did was they took the Uniswap code and they basically stole it and made it a little bit better. And look at their January, a billion. March, five billion. Right, so see their all-time history. September 2020, zero dollars, right? So from September 2020 to March, they've got $5 billion in business, right? So you can look at all these different things. The website shows you what SushiSwap is, all their different versions, what their value is. Um, you can really do a lot of things in DeFi, but the, the cool thing about DeFi is it's not like a bank where a bank is there for 100 years and you never really have competition. Every day, there's new competition going on. So that's all I want to do is talk about DeFi applications and how to trade on the Ethereum network. The Ethereum network is very expensive. So one of my future videos will be how to trade coins on the Binance network and also how to buy stocks in crypto on the Binance network, which is really cool. There are certain stocks that you can buy that are synthetic and you can track, for example, the price change of Tesla using your crypto. So that's all I have for today. This is part of DeFi. So if you have any questions, uh, just shoot me a message or if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, thank you for looking at my channel. Thank you for viewing the videos. Uh, thank you for the likes. Thanks for the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, I've only been on YouTube really for a month talking about crypto and DeFi and the reception has been great. So I'm going to continue. Um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm right there, Sam GSK on